I blind bought some of the freshest, cheapest fragrances I could find with over 10 titles, including stuff from Prada, Jimmy Choo, and some other cool hidden gems you've never heard of. Some of them I really don't like, and if you happen to like it, I apologize because I might go off on it, but not this one. This is called Hollister Wave 2016, and if you go on eBay and search for it, it's slowly becoming off-market, but I found this one under $20, and there's another one called Hollister Free Wave that's all over the place for $24, and the other one that brand new ones are called Hollister Festival and Festival Night. Anyway, if you were to buy this fragrance, some of these people find the fragrances at TJ Maxx and stuff like that, and they just, they're out there just trying to sell whatever they can get their hands on, and they make mistakes, and they think this was called Free Wave, and they think this was selling for $20, and that's when people like me buy it. Because really, if you look carefully, these are more than $40 to $90, and they're completely discontinued now. So find Hollister Free Wave. And in addition to that, if you wanted to add some cool gems to your fragrance collection, I would recommend trying a Hollister fragrance because they often fall off market and the prices go up. It's just kind of cool to have. It's a fresh bamboo grapefruit yutsu lemon fragrance it's just ultra fresh you know like a so hollister is a good investment the newest hollisters out are called festival night and festival the next fragrance i wanted to blind buy was this little bottle of invictus aqua it was about 35 dollars to 40 dollars i want to say invictus aqua 2018 is a very fresh fragrance and it's light and sweet and it's more for the summertime what would i like better i would like better invictus intense and even better than intense my favorite invictus onyx onyx is less sweet and more fresh than all of them bottom line it is a different fragrance the next fragrance i blind bought was called glen pierre unpredictable sport now i saw a review on this fragrance and i don't want to go off if this is your favorite fragrance but look at this box it's gray with the red letters and you take the bottle out it's a really cool bottle actually and it's a not bad scent to be quite honest with you and they're trying to make it smell like chaleur allure ohm sport exactly the same color and interpretation on their bottles the problem with this is i think it's a mess i don't like i just don't enjoy it but if you like a fragrance that's about twenty dollars you might like it it sits close to your skin for eight hours and things like that you know what that means the fragrance i blind bought was this one it's called be bad paris and actually when you first spray this it's like one of those fragrances if you were at a mall and you the guy was saying hey i got these for 30 bucks two for 50 or whatever you know you might buy it because it's one of those appealing fragrances in the first five minutes but the performance probably isn't there i didn't take a full-on test but this looks be bad sport also looks like prada luna rosa sport the white bottle but it's cool and you could probably find these for 15 dollars along with that glenn pierre bogart story red in the united states is highly competitive and i see fragrance prices from 25 dollars down to $15 for testers. This fragrance is very synthetic, but it's made in Paris. If you were to go in the Bogart store in Paris, Jacques Bogart, I'll bet you this is $95. And in the United States, it's dirt cheap. I wonder if this is one of those fragrances that's really cheap in the US and expensive overseas. However, if you want something different, almost a weird fragrance, you get this red one. It People say it smells like one million, but no Bogart Red has amber in it, peppermint, and lavender. The peppermint, lavender, cardamom combination is quite weird. The lasting power on this is probably 10 hours. It's ultra strong, unreal strong, fresh fragrance. But again, it's, it's weird smelling. The next fragrance I just found, this is a re-release called... Nino Shiruti Image. It's a fresh fragrance that makes you feel really good. This is probably, this one and the Onyx are probably the only ones I would actually wear on this whole entire list. This has a banana leaf in it. Now, what does that mean? Banana leaf is actually a straw note. So you're thinking about citruses and a light, light wood, because straw is so light. Can you imagine how much wood is in here? And the fragrance is applied with this cool sprayer and it comes out like that. 
And what happens after the eight hour dry down, it becomes like a soapy fresh fragrance. It's called Cerruti Image. It came out in 1988 and it just got re-released and it'll probably fall off market within a year. So I would highly recommend this if you want something different, classic, light and fresh, and you can spray it all over your clothes and the prices are dropping right now on this. The next fragrance is Mercedes-Benz Club Fresh, which is a zingy fresh, decent long lasting fragrance for the price you can find them for twenty dollars twenty five dollars on ebay if you look under testers anyway the whole box and bottle is relatively affordable 25 to 30 on all the other sites and it does last a nice five to six hours another one that lasts five to six hours is la coast white a beautiful fresh citrus floral fragrance it does have some leather notes in the end it makes it really unique and this lasts and projects really good and gets so many compliments and then i found this la coast panache which came out in 2019 and this has some similar notes to this but it's quite different panache goes in a different way it just smells it smells ultra unique but lasts about two hours strong and then calms down for another two hours this one lasts longer this one smells better both la coast white and la coast panache smell expensive anyway i don't know i've got so many fresh notes coming on around here but they're both best for all seasons and young people can wear them have you ever heard of this one it's called bogart story green bogart story green has notes of pineapple in it and of 40 50 percent of the same notes as this but this uses grapefruit but it goes in the same direction but this is another one of those weirdly odd strong european style green fragrances you might enjoy if you want super power and super longevity but not as much compliments i don't think it's very very robust and power next one is really cool it's called True Man Blue. Now, if you were to look up this on their advertising campaign, they advertise it with a cool dude with khakis and white Air Force Ones or something like that. It's just a real nice... It has clary sage, peppery, citrus, and blue notes, and sandalwood, and it dries down powder and fresh. And this can still be found under $40 with a great brand name tied to it. You must wait for 30 minutes for the fragrance to develop. To me, True Man Blue is best suited probably for college students and up jimmy chew man blue is one of those sweet fresh fragrances then you have kenneth cole blue a mass appealing fresh blue fragrance that surprised me because i found this for twenty dollars a big bottle of it and when you spray this down it's a fresh aquatic and it dries down like a aquatic powdery fragrance completely different than kenneth cole black and you will like this because it does last at eight hours on my skin. Do I have anything else to show you? Yes. For the ladies, you might try this one. Our Moment by One Direction, the pop group. This is a lovely fragrance I found for $8.99. Loose bottle just like that. You probably still can find them for $13 on the internet. I highly recommend it. It's lovely. Another fragrance is called Bulgari Aqua Atlantique, which smells like the Atlantic Ocean. I don't know how they did it, but if you ever lived in Wildwood, Brigantine Island, or Florida, South Florida, anywhere around there, this fragrance makes you smell just like the Atlantic Ocean. Then you have Aqua Amara, which is different. It came out in, I want to say, 2014. Oh, yeah, I like the Aqua Amara. Should I wear this today? Yeah, let's wear Aqua Amara is going to be the scent of the day. I'd like you to comment down below and tell me what's one of your fresh fragrance finds that you found. Anything you want, please comment three fragrance selections so I can research for you and bring some more in the next time. Peace and love.